Millions of lanterns light up the night sky during the annual Taiwan Lantern Festival, a major attraction for people from around the world. From Taipei, the country's capital, to Tainan, a small city in the south, the Lantern Festival invokes God's protection and good luck. It was inaugurated by officials on February 10th in the Yunlin County. The Lantern Festival is a very traditional uh, festival in Chinese uh, society. This time, the Lantern Festival is the biggest one in, ever in Taiwan. The totally, uh, I mean, the exhibition area cover 50 hectares. The Lantern Festival is a Chinese tradition that dates back more than 2,000 years. But in Taiwan, it is celebrated with modern installations and high-tech gadgetry. In China, it's, it's quite traditional, only traditional. But in Taiwan, we have not only traditional one, we also combine high tech. We have a lot of uh, artists, learning artists now in Taiwan. We also we teach a young students, they learn how to build lantern. With an interesting mix of cultures of China and Japan, the culinary delicacies with vegetarian and non-vegetarian options, curiosity amongst food lovers was sparked. In Taiwan, we have a totally at least 52 uh, different kind of uh, festival uh, during the year. Also have a, a different kind, uh, at least uh, 16 Aboriginal tribe. So different Aboriginal tribe, you can experience different kind of uh, culture. Also, you can test a different kind of food. So Taiwan is a very uh, amazing and fantastic area uh, to visit. Under the full moon, as the countdown began, thousands of cell phones went full tizzy, while drones flew over the crowd to capture the revelry. The majestic rooster, king of the night, was illuminated. Locals asked for benediction, murmuring prayers, and expressing their joy. From Yunlin country, we headed to Yanshui in the southwest for the Beehive Fireworks and Crackers Night to discover other beliefs and traditions in celebration of the Lantern Festival. The festivities started in the late 19th century and the traditions continued with modern displays and parades offered as an homage by the various temples of the city. Over 400 years ago, the early settlers um, because of the hygienic condition was not that good, many people were killed by the plagues and, um, and there was no cure. So they asked their god here, Guan Gong, and the god Guan Gong told them that um, to light fireworks. During that time, fireworks, uh, firecrackers, they were made of sulfur. They were made of sulfur and sulfur they killed they kill, supposedly killed of bacteria, so people actually, no more people died and they actually recovered, so they continued the tradition. Before we go close to it, we have to do all this uh, put on protection gear first. First of all, this is a very heavy duty overcoat. Because when the firecracker, uh, when they light up, there will be lots and lots of smoke and it will be really difficult to breathe. So you also have to put on face masks. Um, specially made helmet. See that? It's the, um, uh, it's the god of the main temple. Uh, see? Then you are safe to go. When the firecrackers light up next to you, it hit you and it's a very exciting thing and um, for, very, for, for risk seeking young people, they, they like to get it but older people they may not dig it. Just like Diwali in India, the Beehive Festival elevates the experience of the festivities and lets your adventurous mind loose. The festive vibes of this city of lights will keep you hooked till late at night. When in Taiwan, fun never goes to sleep.